So here again we have a couple of different curry combs. And what I like to do when I'm grooming my horses, if I have access to a couple of different tools like this, is to have one on each hand. And with the curry comb, um, you're doing the big muscle groups on the horse, although especially with a rigid one like this. If you have a softer one, you can do some work on the horse's legs and on their lower legs to loosen up the dirt and the fur. Be careful doing that. I don't recommend doing that with one with hard teeth on it. It's not going to be comfortable to the horse, and you can put scratches on them. But when you're doing this, you work in a circular motion. I like to start at the neck and work my way back. Pay attention to areas on the horse where they don't have a lot of muscle covering, where there are prominent bony areas. This is going to be probably a little much for them. And then you would want to either not use a curry comb or use one that's softer like this. You can use that along the backbone, along the hips and all down their hindquarters.